and welcome to episode 181 of the Daisy Podcast. I'm disappointed, Cobra. No one Go on. got last week's um, uh, <laughs> title. I I inserted a couple of little things into the um, the name of it, and no one got it. And I especially expected a pommy to get it. I had a couple yeah, of little terrible. dartboards, mate. It was episode 180. Yep, I agree. It's the, terrible. The, Shocking. The, the classic. The classic British thing, 180. No one got it. It was just a little Easter egg in there that right. no one seemed to get. But, yeah, I, I was a bit disappointed with that one. But, anyway, we are here with episode 181, Cobra. You're here with, uh, once again, mate. How you doing, buddy? Very good, mate. Very good. Been an interesting week for me. Um, we'll get on to that a bit later, mate, maybe. Oh, yeah. Sounds intriguing. Sounds intriguing. <laughs> but um, as uh, you probably guessed, folks, we did have um, Battle Squatch lined up for this week, but he uh, was unable to attend this week. So at the last minute, Cobra came through with a damn good guest, one that I'm um, quite excited to have on, he's, he, particularly in light of the massive undertaking he's just released. We'll talk about that a bit more soon, but let's introduce the one and only Things with Ali. How you doing, buddy? Hey man, how are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me on the show. Nah, yes, happy uh, to have you on, mate. Um, Welcome, I started mate. watching your uh, cinematic montage, massive <laughs> undertaking, mate. Um, this is a really, really good one to have because the, uh, we, we see a lot of people talk about you know scripted content versus real content. Now you are basically it's a, from what I understand, this is a three part masterpiece that you're releasing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. How hard has it been to create a scripted video? Oof. Now, we got to go way back to, like, 2021. Uh, for yep. me, like, h how it started, this was never going to look like this, by the way. It was just going to be, like, me, because I did a role play series, right? Like, that's how I got into Daisy from watching Mr. Moon, like, a Better Tomorrow movie. And after mm -hmm. I watched it, yes, like, uh, yes. 10 mm -hmm. times, Beautiful. I was like, I need to get on Daisy RP, and then... That's how I got into Daisy, basically. Um, and from the series, I was like, damn, I want to like go up a notch and just do like a little movie level. So what what turned now is almost three years since we like we started. And originally it was just going to be six weeks. Uh, so everything kept changing story wise. Um, new custom mods were coming out, like even the simple cinematic mod. When I was starting this, that wasn't even out. So yeah, a lot of things change. So that's why it took a long time. Um, it's not easy to make like a whole cinematic thing because this whole time when I was doing it, um, a lot of these uh, other creators, big creators have seen them. They've seen a lot of the behind the scene while I was working on them. And they were like amazed by it, like, okay, this is, this is something new. Like, wh what are you cooking here? Um, but they knew themselves as well. Like, look, I don't think this is something I'm going to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's, it's something you kind of need knowledge of, I would say, if you're going to do it right. And, yeah, and I kind of went into school f for this, like filmmaking, cinematography, and storytelling writing all that stuff right and even even working with cameras so once you apply all that into a game like DayZ, then it's a lot easier that way i would say than just kind of making a couple of cinematics for your normal video because it goes way deeper than that um so yeah it's it's, it's definitely like a knowledge is the key for this one <laughs> for sure what was what was the hardest part for you? Like, was it the script? Was it filming the scenes? Was it finding people to be the actors? Was it the editing? You know, um, and and how long do you think you've put into this um, project so far? Or how how yeah, how how much time? Oh, because this this was like a side project for me. Um, so it was like this was never stressing me. Like, okay. Let me put it this way. This never got in the way of my main content, right? Um, so with it being three years, it's not like I worked on it every single day because I had to make sure I took care of the channel and stuff like that as well. Um, but I don't know if, uh, like, it, it wasn't, like, nothing was really hard. It was just more time-consuming and a bit stressful. 
Because like I had the people because the community we did this with was survivalist RP. Like mm -hmm. I created this um, at the beginning, like a few years ago with uh, with these guys, and then you know when uh, we sort of like uh, did a bunch of different things, and then we all came back. I went into Daisy Roleplay because I was hopping server to server, and they were helping me with it. And I already knew a bunch of other people there. And so it was easy to, to get people because they, they already wanted to be in the series that we were creating, right? Uh, that I recorded on the server. Mm. Um, having people, uh, you know, private server, um, voice acting, um, outfits, outfits, custom mods, that all was already taken care of, really. And the editing was kind of fun because I could create something that is just unique. Um, so I don't think anything was like really hard. Maybe the hardest thing is to have everyone behave. <laughs> uh, yes, if you're recording absolutely. with like 20 plus people in a voice call, then no, that right, can man. go crazy. <laughs> I'll, and, I'll tell you guys this. It, I've, I've seen that with events as well, mate. Yeah, when you're trying uh, to get to people say. together and yeah. It, it's too, it's, it's crazy. Like, I'll tell you guys this. I remember this clearly, right? Um, when I literally had to take showers after the recording session because it was that stressful. <laughs> I had to cool down, really. Let's, let's put it like that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, Ali, I had, I had a similar one. I was on a, um, <laughs> I, I was thinking I was halfway through something similar but it was a one video just one video right yeah. and i had spent three months with a very good group of people that i'd known for a while and every single day i'd have to say right let's start off nicely today this is the scene this is what we want to do all right you've got your kits and you'd always have at least three or four of them because there's about 20 of them suddenly go what are you doing no no stop shooting zombies stop shooting yep. pens all that shit stop <laughs> it i need you to just stand still and do this right and of course when that's done then there's chat in the bloody discord so i'm muting discord i'm going to a different fucking channel for half an hour and going look i've I got to get out of this and then you know so it is so difficult it's so difficult how did you do that ali how did, did you set ground rules oh yeah like it's it's definitely because I've had this conversation with other creators as well because they've asked me similar question questions like that. Um, it, it's different when people do things for free, like if they're involved in a project for free. It's very different compared to like when they get paid for it. You yes. know, because yeah. once you get like um, you know if money is involved, you take things a little bit more seriously, like that, right? So I had to really sort of tell people like like guys come on you know what I mean? like i had to really go at people sometimes here and there yeah yeah, um, yeah. i know i know what you mean so yeah there, there was rules like that <laughs> but but it's like like we're all cool and all but when it really comes because we record like i think when we started it was six weekends straight saturday and sunday like mm -hmm. Like week after week, week after week, and the a lot of these guys who helped, who are also characters in these movies, they're like fathers and mothers. They got kids and all that. So time was really like so important to this. Whereas like we really had to um, like get things going. Um, oh, it's, I, I, I like I like that mean, in like. chat there. Too much pew like pew that. and not enough doo doo. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> see, dark dark has been guilty of a couple by clearly you can see here. Um, probably been involved in a few and uh, was probably the shooter. Probably shot the main actor, I would say. I've had that as well. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I didn't I didn't mean to shoot you. Thanks, mate. I've just spent an hour hey, with the look, it's, it's a bit It's a bit better now, though, Cobra. You know? um, it's bringing back memories of um, uh, when me and a few lads, we organised um, an Ashes um, series where it was the Poms versus the Aussies. Uh, and But this was pre-admin tools and that, so... Yeah, when you'd have to get everyone to a certain location, would spend yeah. a week beforehand <laughs> finding all the gear. Yeah. And even yeah. then, with so much on the line, you'd still get that one dickhead who'd drop a grenade yeah. or you know Constantly. shoot something down. And there, there was a lot. I, I totally get where you're coming from, Ali, with the having to walk away and just calm down and uh, bring bring the, the the blood pressure down as well, mate. But <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, um, do, do you know yeah. what? I was going to say, do you know what, right? The, the most common thing that people do right now when you're doing this type of thing is they love to mess about with grenades. So they'll unpin them and then put the pin back in. And what you'll see is some stupid idiot will forget or drop it or do something and it will go off and you've just wiped out five of them. I have that yeah. all the time. All the bloody yeah. time. When we started this, for some reason, on the on the uh, private server, there, there, you could never set your... This is like back in 2021, right? You could never, for some reason, change your character to have it like custom, right? Mm -hmm. um, like for the, the character. So if you died, that meant you had to keep dying just to get the right character. <laughs> I remember it took about, me yeah. like two and a half hours uh, like to get one character. And and thank God we yeah. we started like a couple of hours before recording session because yeah that was that was crazy yeah, yeah crazy mate I hate that but anyway <laughs> yeah that's thank you times. role players <laughs> ten minutes respawning the exact clothes <laughs> yeah I saw that I was just I was just reading it now yeah, yeah. he was right yeah that was a pain in the ass so anyway. did this take how much of your time did this take up um, Ali um it, it's it was sort of different. Um, like I had to be, okay. So at the beginning, this was sort of like the uh, my weekly um plan. So from Monday to Friday, what I would do, I would write the scenes. I would write like what everyone is gonna do. Um, the outfits that we would need as well. I need to make sure we have that, and mm -hmm. the the right ones. Um, just like building the set as well. I did have some help from Mike. You can never say he's he's uh, like Mike is a Mike Doctory or something? Docker Docker. Oh no what no one knows <laughs> Mike. He's from, he's from some weird ass place called um, but, but he, he yeah. helped yeah he helped with some with some sets as well which was pretty cool of him. Yeah, um, he's probably listening. <laughs> yeah he, he was he was awesome at that stuff. Um so that that was what I would do from Monday to Friday, and then we would get ready for for the weekend to to record. Um, so so that was pretty much the plan. So my idea, I think, nine months in, I didn't even touch it though. I was mm. just recording and recording and recording because I knew if I was editing right away, we would always change things. I mean, it happened yeah, regardless yeah. anyway, but. Yeah. Uh, I just I just focus on normal content while we did that on the side. Yeah, um, and I think I think that's the way the only way as a full time content creator you can do that because all of us are putting videos out in between this type of stuff. Um, and we had a little brief chat um, off air before this, and um, it's like we both mentioned Mr. Moon. Now, for me, Mr. Moon, some of the early stuff he did was just unbelievable for that time things have yeah. moved on since then um but definitely was the motivation for me to even look at something like this was that your motivation as well your original motivation um uh, i guess maybe it's been so long where i just f sort of forgot really like <laughs> how how you know what i mean it's, it's just so much stuff to happen um it's, it's just sort of like after the Mr. Moon, uh, when he dropped the thing out, I was just like, oh my God, I want to do something on this level. Yeah, um, absolutely. And then, Bliskin and Brothers, then, wasn't it? Yeah, and then, uh, and then just after that, um, I just started, because I was playing a lot of, like, I was playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like such an amazing game, like one of the best games out there. And then I was playing, like, Metro Exodus. Um, so if you're really a Red Dead redemption 2 fan and you're really into the story you might see some inspiration that mm -hmm. i took because because really when you do something like this you sort of have to get familiar with storytelling like how does it yes. work is it believable right mm -hmm. uh, the angles and like when lips are moving daisy's is like 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 a really really good game to make movies because the characters they they are very close to like real life people you know Compared to I've, like I've got to say, just because I've got the video playing in the background with no audio, the, yeah. I love this this intro um, yeah. stuff. It, it's it's beautifully done, mate. Like some of the comments people have left on this video. Um, who who did this for you? All these um, graphics and all the rest of it. Did you do this yourself, or did you get uh, pay someone to do this, or like just the intro? You mean, or just like yeah. the 
Um, no, that one name? I had. I had to um, look uh, a bunch of like sort of templates and then sort of like mess around with them and add them together. Kind oh, of. You thing. did it yourself. That's amazing. Yeah, it yes, is hard, yes. hard work yeah. like that. Is. Yeah, it's. Um, I needed something like really cool. If I was gonna make a movie, I was like, okay, I gotta make uh, like the movie, I guess. Um, Absolutely, and that's, that's the key. The You've got it. Th this here, I think it's done so well. By the way, um, and I spoke to Boydie earlier about this, that the actual Daisy animations is the true characters' um, movement in Daisy. Which could go one of two ways. Um, you know, you can either make it a little bit more unbelievable and have the characters operate sometimes um, in a in a slightly different, maybe more realistic to a human way, or you can go fully with the Daisy way. And you've gone fully with the Daisy way here, with with regards to bending down. It takes that extra second. The way they stood up, the little noise that's moved, uh, part of the movement. Um, yeah. which I think is a really good, a really good um, adaptation to it because you could have gone, I'm guessing, many, many different ways with this. But, but even then, he, he's done some very clever things, like, like just looking at this scene here. Um, so he's obviously wanting to imply that he was doing something with this body that he found. So it looks like he's used just a simple repair animation or, or yeah. something. You'll see it come up again in yeah. a second. But... The way he's done the camera yeah. angle, you never yeah. actually see what he's actually working no. on with his hands. But that's mm. this is is this the sort of stuff you learnt when you did these courses or whatever it is you said you did, Ali? Or yeah, you're making. And, and yeah, it's also um, just from watching a lot of movies, really. And yeah, and you you sort of you sort of have to because what I'm doing is like I'm sort of tricking. It's like a trick in a way, right? It's like because. The angle is like the the whole key, like the key thing here because if I show a different angle, you just see him like there. You know what I mean? Like he's not really tying yeah. up the body or anything like that. And these camera angles here, they just—it's brilliant, mate. They're like they're, you've done a lot of, um, you know, it, it's almost like you you could do a video explaining what you've done here if you wanted to show other people how, you know, yeah, the way this camera is just perfectly there and then you've got the eyes and what 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 cobra was saying about how you know daisy as much as we all love it it's kind of basic yeah <laughs> sorry just laughing at what andy wrote in our chat there yeah no tea bag and um but um it, it, daisy is yeah as much as um like, oh, i don't like some of the animations in reforge which is on a better engine but daisy is a little bit clunky with the way some of the characters look and um, like I've watched role play streams before, and it's always a little awkward in the way that they move. But you're doing things that, you know, it just looks like this guy's deadpan got the thousand yard stare, doesn't it, Cobra? Yeah, no, absolutely, mate. Sorry, absolutely. I was just uh, looking at the screen there. Um, yeah, no, absolutely, mate. I mean, like I said, you could have gone, you could have gone many different ways with it, but I think how you've gone with this. Like this animation here, I guess you were digging a garden plot at that point, or burying um, a bag or something, or, or burying yeah. something. And then what yeah. you've done is you've uh, moved in on an item that you put, and it's just it's really well done, really well done. You know, it takes a lot of time and effort to stage it, to place it right, um, to then work with the uh, animations that you're forced to work with there. Um, yeah. yeah, it's so that's such a lot of work and planning. <clears throat> The uh, one of the key thing here as well is like the movie is actually slowed down by twenty percent. Ah, there you go. Because the animations needs to they need to look right, and that that's like one. Okay, uh, to answer one of your questions before, boy, uh, about like what's the hardest thing? I guess this would be it. Because when we were recording, and Pete, let's say there's a scene of someone uh, a group walking, if one of them moves like differently. Like, you know, when you walk in Daisy and you hit like A or D on the keyboard, you sort of yep. skip left and right. I, mm. I had this general rule, like if you're going to move left and right, only use your mouse. That's it. Because mm. there needs to be that smoothness of animations. Otherwise, it's not believable. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was one of the uh, like very like something because 
if there is that like uh, like a character moving and it's like if he's moving out of place and it's noticeable sorry like this is right just away. such a beautiful image as well <laughs> this guy standing on the cliff and the storm and the background um i i, I know i'm interrupting him folks but i'm no, just I, get... I, I i am appreciating the the quality of what you've put into the production value here was the microphone mm. uh, symbol flashing up on screen annoying for you or did you not mind that because it does let people know that this was recorded in a game yeah i wanted to make sure that there is there is that daisy in it you know first yeah, yeah. person point of view yep. and you talking game so there is a little bit of that um shout out shout out to uh, Fro daisy frostbite as well the server the owner uh, he, he's the one who helped me with this as well to um that I could I could use his server as well on this. We had to time this as well because uh, Daisy doesn't work where you can just let things happen sometimes. So I think we yeah, waited yeah. like a, around an hour just for that to happen. <clears throat> and this is so, the problem, isn't it? Because if you get your lines messed up here, yes, you can voice over, but yeah. you, then you've got to tie it up <laughs> to what they're saying. <laughs> you and then, miss the... Yeah. Yeah. You that know, was it's, actually... It's that was because we did everything in-game but from the feedback, a lot of people couldn't hear what he was saying. So I had to, uh, we had to record Up it is. again, mm -hmm. um, just from what he was saying. And then I just added that into to the thing. Can I, can I please say that I love the fact that you made him, um, or you put the mod on where he, you have to have a sling to have a rifle um, hang off your back. That's one of the yeah. my little pet bugbears about Daisy is this ma mythical, magical, invisible sling yeah. that enables you to carry two <laughs> weapons on your, your sh shoulders, and yeah. Um, yeah. I, I love that. It's just little attention to detail thing, mate. But mm. it, it, the, the quality of the work of what you've done, mate, is just uh, and working with basically essentially a ten-year-old game to produce scenes like this. Um, I'm so impressed, mate. Did you ever want to just say fuck it and give up on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah many times. <laughs> because it's like the, the thing where, where people were messing around a lot and people sometimes when people weren't showing up, let's say, yeah. um yeah. that's 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 it. Like the whole whole day is sort of like out of out of the picture. Like yeah. you can't yeah. continue that because one person is not there. And, uh, because, and people don't understand yeah. this, Ali. I completely agree with you. People don't understand this. Even when you're doing something so simple as a live stream and you, you're either collabing or you've got a couple of people you want to run with, what, they, what those people sometimes don't understand is it may be fun and great we're on YouTube with someone who's got, you know, quite a lot of subs or we're going to get a bit of, you know, this, this is quite entertaining for us personally. But the minute that you then have to stop what you're doing to help them because they're not of the same type of mindset or process that you routinely have to go through. For instance, I'll always have a cooking pot because I know if I fill up on water from a cooking pot, I can have so much time game running without worrying about water in the game. Now, where people aren't prepared mm. for that, you're having to feed them, you're having to water <laughs> them, you're having to medicate them. And then mm -hmm. when you bloody need it, you then have to go searching again. And, you know, we, we I have this sometimes. It is so difficult, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That reminds me of me and Frankie Z. If you're hearing, if you're hearing <laughs> this, him. Frankie. Uh, we were <laughs> feeding him. each other on, on we, we were playing this, uh, for, for, like, we are actually playing on Frostbite, like Daisy Frostbite, that winter generous server. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that was the hardest server we have ever played, like, I've ever played in my entire life. That one right there is it's a real, real like struggle. And we were feeding each other all the time and just yeah, yeah. I, I get what you mean. It's a struggle. So dude on the screen just then with the beard and the patch, he looks like one of the guys from um Game of Thrones. Um the cult of um uh the fire people and that. But yeah, just um I I've, I've actually sent through your video to um uh Mr. Moon as well. Uh, no, I don't chat with him all the time. We're not big close buddies but i have interviewed him in the past and i can dm him um so i've sent it through to him and just said you know a fan of yours was so inspired by what you made in the past he did this stated you were a massive inspiration for him so hopefully he sees it and he'll check it out and um mm. <laughs> what, what did you learn from watching someone like mr moon's videos in the past Ooh, the storytelling and just like because yeah. yeah, 
it's just so simple. It's it's just like the way you present the gameplay, like you're so into character, right? Mm -hmm. I think Daisy roleplay, and just like when if you just play day like Daisy like uh, vanilla or just you just do whatever, it's such a different like experience. When you do roleplay, you feel like you're playing the character, you know. Mm -hmm. And he's using like the right soundtrack and the the. You know what I mean? Like he's good at creating stories and and characters, um, and just like put on a good entertaining like video altogether. You know, and that was yep. sort of like that really inspired me uh, to make this. Um, but this is the thing with storytelling: it is anyone can tell a story, but mm -hmm. to tell it well, and to have the right tone, the right um, kind of accent for your character, the right you know, the right history for it. it. That that takes a lot of planning. It is really difficult to maintain over a long, significant period of time. And it's easy to slip yeah. out of character, you know? So you've got to immerse yourself in the RP world and then you've got to somehow find your own unique style to story tell. And that's something, you know, that, I, you know, myself, I've, I've dabbled with, I've tried. It's not an easy thing to do, you know? How mm -hmm. did you find your storytelling on this particular one? Oof, like it's definitely because we did the series on a on a server right which means that you have to follow the um um like you, you have to like follow rules you can't just really do everything like however you want to mm. i mean you, you sort of can if you do like your own group and so which is what i did like i got a whole group together and we, we were doing this thing um but it got a lot easier doing the movies because it's more, it comes to like voice lines mm -hmm. and you can do it multiple times because I, I record it separately. We record the whole thing. Uh, like basically I have, a, I have a, this whole idea of putting all of them together and making a whole like the movie, you know, it's more cut down, it's paced well mm -hmm. uh, or paced like pacing is like you know great because all of them together they are close to four hours and it's yeah. like i think maybe 30 minutes is like gameplay points of views and it's like the rest three plus hours like just through cinematics right yeah yeah um yeah. so and that's a lot of cinematics because every little yeah. scene <laughs> takes yeah. for those that don't know every one of these little scenes you're seeing here even if it's just a fly-by camera angle it's going to take about 10, 20 attempts to get the right angle, the right lighting. Mm -hmm. And, you, you know, if you're looking at something like what Ali's done here, where there are thousands, probably hundreds, if not thousands of clips that he's had to sync together, the right timing, mm -hmm. the right yeah. lighting, you know, that, that is, that's six months to a year's worth of work, you know, to get I was, that. I was just about to say, how long did it take you to edit this together? Oof. Too long. <laughs> just, wait, can can but, you but do me good. a favor? Can you do I me just, a favor? Can yeah. you open up whatever editing program you used <laughs> and just down the bottom you could do a screen share? I want to see what this looked like in that program. For oh. those who don't know, for those of us who ever, who've, have have ever done an edit of a video, 30, 40 lines. That's 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 <laughs> yeah, where I'm going, is... Kerry. You know where I'm going with this. I've done I just it, need yeah. to see this. So, hey, it is crazy those who stuff. know editing are going to look at it and probably just go, fuck that. Nah, uh, nah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hit, I'm, I hit I'm four or get, five lines, yeah. mate, and I'm pulling my hair out. Have you got one saved, Ali? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, pr I'll bring up part one so I don't oh, put up go. part two or three or anything <laughs> like that. Yeah, down so the just... bottom, all you've got to do, mate, is just hit the share button. Um, and then once you've um, shared that screen, I can um, show uh, show it to everyone. Because yeah. we, we need to see this, don't we, Cobra? Yeah, yeah. You've got this yeah. grin on your face, mate, like this is going to be epic. Yeah, because I've done it before, mate. And I, I've had like literally, I've, I've seen some crazy ones at 10.15. I've attempted a 32, 33 one before. And that is the software sometimes can't handle it, mate. And I use Adobe Premiere Pro. And yeah. that sometimes can't handle it. So I'm interested to see how bad Ali's is. <laughs> it's it's so bad where, like, I've had many crashes, like so yeah. many crashes. And just like, if it wasn't for autosave, oh. Yeah, yeah I was about I to say, please tell me autosave work. Please tell me autosave work. 
I li- I literally had to buy like a ten terabyte external yes, hard yeah. drive and even a five one. I just just kept going up. Like this yeah. whole project, everything I've recorded is like three point five terabytes. Yeah, I'll, just I'm the on voice five lines themselves. Well. Yeah, voice lines themselves is five hundred gigs. Yeah, because we crazy. have to like it's it's, it's... wow. It I, I'll crazy. have a whole um like a whole um. Well, like the movie, like I have a bunch of bloopers. I want to show people, like, because I've documented everything pretty much. Oh, that's so, even better, that's, that's awesome. Even better. I, I really hope you do, mate. Once it's all done, you know, just the yeah. uh, bloopers, um, um, how you went about, um, you know, uh, a storyline of uh, making it. I, I think, you know, that this could be uh, quite popular in, in that aspect as well as what oh, you're yeah. actually mm-hmm. making. Yeah, because people don't understand. Unless you've done something to this similar level or even attempted it, what pe- people think it's a simple one line track, one track voiceover, or yeah. maybe two, they don't understand just an adaption on light itself or a movement or an angle or text or whatever else you want to add in, background music, whatever it is. All of them are separate lines. Yeah. So, Christ, okay. I'm waiting to see. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so this is just part one. Okay, um, just for like spoiler sakes, um, that's why I'm not opening part two and three. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Part part three, especially, that's the one that's like uh, the the worst one, I guess you could say. Uh, so let me screen share. Uh, I think here. There you go. Here's Mike himself. Hey there, Mike. Oh yeah, my dear that. lord. <laughs> look at that look at that right. oh and that's, that's you, not can his... you scroll down how many lines do you have oh this is uh the lines the voiceover goes here um yeah, yeah. it's just got a lot of it <laughs> and there's your there's your footage below there's your soundtrack there's your, yeah so yeah. This, the slide bar on the right can you scroll that down uh yeah because uh, yep. it's just it's just loading. It's trying to. Uh, it's still it's sweating. sweating. Oh yeah, there's <laughs> sweating a bit. There's loads, more. there's loads more of it, mate. There's going to be smoke wait. coming out of his uh, uh, CPU right now. You, you <laughs> wait until he releases the third one. I want to see that, Ali. I want to see the third one. So, yeah, so this, this is what it looks a bit here. Oh, mate. <laughs> this is what I'm they talking have, about, right? Yeah. This is, pain. this is painful, right here. <laughs> Yeah, once you see, basically, part three has, like, all of these, like, everywhere. It's, like, yeah. it's like a web. Yeah. It's weird. Um, so, part, I, I guess part one is a little bit more easygoing, I guess you can say. Um, mm-hmm. hey, could you zoom then, in a bit just so we can see, like, some of these areas where you've got all the little split? Yeah. Like, oh, my dear Lord, mate, this is insane. Uh-huh. This is yeah. it's hard, mate. It's hard, and don't forget this is he. What he can't show you right now is even though you've got your little particles and you've got your little snippets here and there, is what is in between on one screen is so difficult to see. But as you go down, you will start to yeah. see every little bit has got multiple, maybe 10, 15, 20 adaptations to that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and this is this is every little aspect, every movement, everything. It yeah, like yeah. Basically, every footstep you take, this yeah. is like an infected att- attack. But <laughs> every and they're like footsteps. Yeah, every yeah. every footstep. That that's one of the. Oh, I hate editing that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. and then, and then you've got different. things like there's there's only stuff that you notice once you start the editing process, and then yeah, you're, yeah, you're halfway through, and it's like, oh my god, I can't believe that made it through. We've got to go back and do that scene again. Like, yeah, yeah even worse. Oh, can you imagine, right? See, see, I've been here before, right? Where my screens look similar to this, right? And I have literally done half an hour's worth of work, gone to save it, Adobe's crashed, and that half an hour's worth of work, not only do you have to now repeat, but it has to be 100% in sync. You've had a new yeah. idea. You've now missed <laughs> five different ideas that you've just put in that look really good quality. You're having to save after every new movement footprint idea because you're so scared yeah. that you're going to fucking, it's going to go, mate. I've been there so many times. And, and whenever um, it does crash, I just make, I save it. And then I just, yeah. I do make a copy of this. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, just in case. Uh, Daisy Hub's asking, how did you manage to do all the Foley sound? Um, what, like uh, the grass and, uh, and wind? Is that what he means? I'm not sure. That's why I was hoping you would understand. Um, Foley, that's a, that's an audio. I've, I've seen that Bond movies in that before. Um, yeah. That's Dolby. That's Dolby sound. What's he talking about? Foley sound. What does that mean? What do you oh, yeah, mean, Foley Daisy Hub? That. What does it what all do mean, mean Basil? What does it mean? And this is, this is obviously uh, Ali. I take it you've uh, imported different sounds as well. Yeah. So most. Well, I did also use the um, the Daisy um, like sounds like from the files. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if you if everything is different, um, then it's it can be very hard, and sometimes it's not as believable. Because when you're watching yeah, this yeah. Daisy movie, you need to also feel like it's Daisy, you know? Oh, absolutely. That's what you've gone so, for. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, so Foley it, sounds it like walking, bones breaking. Um, it sounds that you've added in. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk, walking, yeah, step by step. Um, yeah, yeah. The wind, uh, when trees are creaking, uh, grass. Because when you're walking, it, like, what what uh, terrain is the guy walking on, and for how long is he yeah. going on gravel, yeah. like dirt, and then grass? So it's all this. I have to sort of keep in mind. And then, like, this is the thing is, um, when they make unintentional noises. Um, you know, someone might have picked up a, a wound infection by accident or something like that. And um, did you have many things where it was like, what the hell was that? Um, um, who, who made that noise? We, right, we've got to go back and do this whole scene again. The, so, so, so this is what what made things more easy is because, like, I record the whole thing and then I remove the entire audio, and so I build yes. it from ground yeah. up basically. Mm -hmm. um, so it has it's more unique that way because otherwise you're always going to have background sound, and you know things are not at a level where you can have it with the um, when people are walking. Right when you watch it. What like if they get closer to the camera, you hear it like a little bit, and then it gets louder and louder and louder, right? That you can't mm. really do, um, because if you when you record cinematics, it's based on sometimes I think because it, it, it changes up all the time where your character is in the game. So I have to spawn him always near everyone for them for to hear like. Uh, sound effects, or even for the animations to actually render in properly, because mm. if your character is like way too far away, then the characters they like the animation is not the same. If you like from a distance and close up is different, so yeah, a lot of things you, you can close that down now, mate. Save your computers, um, yeah, uh, and, and your power bill as well, <laughs> and your electricity, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that's insane, mate. Like I, I I will hands down admit I am never doing something like that because I don't have the patience for it. I don't have the yeah. skills for it. Did you actually develop any new methods or anything like that um, uh, as as a result of what you learnt over the time? Because like I know myself, when I set myself to a specific task, I eventually get better at it and I start refining the process and that. Was there any things that you came up with that might help other people down the line who are doing something similar? Oof. Yeah, it definitely got a lot easier. Um, uh, it depends on like which scene you're recording because part one, what you guys have seen is just more like the simple stuff. When you get into war and there's a whole war and everybody's mm. shooting and different angles, right? Um, Absolute minefield. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's um, like it really depends on like w what scene. Like if it's something like the people moving their lips, and this this is what you guys will see in the bloopers when when I release that uh, after all these, um, is when they're talking in game. Will you guys see them? The the stuff we actually recorded is just mostly people roasting me because I'm just saying okay, just move your lips a few a few, a few for a few more seconds, and mm -hmm. everybody's just roasting me all the time. Yeah, um, <laughs> and, and so that that's why it's like you cut the whole audio out and then you write a line that is synced up with their with the lips of the character. So that's why I I did before I wrote the lines, and then we recorded, but it got way more easier if you just have an idea first you record it you see how the lips are moving and then you write it because then you can stick it up 
Um, I, I actually I have to shout something out in our chat yeah. there, Mike. I did like that the way that the roads formed the letters Daisy yeah, um, in the opening. Like, that was actually yeah. quite clever. I, that was a very very well done way and a nice way to mm. clearly identify that this movie is made in the game Daisy. So yeah, Absolutely. that was actually pretty. Pretty. Who did it for you, Mike? Because I know you couldn't, and we know uh, DOJ <laughs> wouldn't do it because he just yeah. would have spelt it out of spun trees. So. Um, but I don't know. Did you get Cabello, or did you get uh, uh, John McClane, or yeah, you know, one of these uh, Matty Ice, maybe? Because uh, we know you couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ain't gonna lie to that, mate. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Mike though, for real. He he definitely like helped a lot. He's really good at that stuff. Yeah, he, um, he's very good, isn't he? Yeah. He said it was your idea, Ali, but his building. He was really happy with it. There you go. Oh, so. <laughs> there you go, mate. There you go. Typical response. That's a good response. I've got a question for you, Ali. So, so a lot of people that will go on to watch this episode will be, uh, um, uh, let's just say, content creators in the making and wondering how we do a lot of this stuff. Now, um, I've had a similar route to you in terms of um, doing additional learning on cameras and angles, on adding music and whatever else, and it takes some time. What kind of courses would you say are the most important for anyone who really wants to get into this to take before going on this journey? Ooh. Um, <laughs> just in in general, like, because YouTube, I would say f- for those who really want to get into this stuff, is to learn about filmmaking on YouTube. Like, there's probably some, like, a lot of great... Um, videos out there that are short you can learn quite a bit because if people are looking for something quick to do i don't think they're going to succeed because this Mm. is a lot of like time like time consuming it's same like when an actual movie that's why like people like the avengers end game or something right that was they recorded or like they filmed all that a year before so it took them a whole year to get it out and stuff Mm. right so it's it's a long process, but definitely understanding like what to think about camera movement, um, angles, like characters that are in frame and environment. You know what I mean? There's, there's so much to sort of consider. And that, that's mm. why I don't think anyone has really done this because there's so much work into this. Well, this uh, is the... I, yeah. With what you just said there, just simply getting the right character in frame or if you're zooming away and then your character comes into shot or the reverse of that everything comes into play i spend hours doing this myself everything comes into play the right area is it a mountaintop scene what's the lighting again what's the lighting like you know um how fast are we going to use the camera angle tool you know are we going to be super slow a little bit fast are we going to do a full 360 you know all of these things and they take skill because a lot of it is done with a mouse you know, uh, mm-hmm. yes, you can if you turn on your admin tools or whatever else. You've got the normal uh, speeds that you can use. Obviously, you've got, um, I think it's JLK's mod for the um, Simple Cinematic, mm. I believe. Yeah. And yeah, I've, I've used that as well. Um, and these things do make it easier, but ultimately, it's you controlling that camera. Yeah. Angle. <laughs> I'm the camera and, guy too. Oh, <laughs> and the <mate>. director. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy, mate. Crazy stuff. But... Um, yeah. I, I would so, say no. this though. Go on, go on. Uh, I, I would say if someone's gonna is if someone's gonna do something like that, I think Sour, Sour Sweet, no, I think he might have gone. I heard it somewhere, but I don't know if it's really him that went to like maybe he learned a bit about filmmaking or something like that. Yeah, I I so, did. I thought it was JLK as well. To be fair, I did hear something around. Someone took a course or two and went out on a, a bit of a expedition. He, he might have, maybe. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't recall. All I remember is like maybe sour sweet. He does have a good, um, like uh, control over like like how his cinematics play out. So I mm. think if he were to do something like this, I think it would be pretty good. Uh, but it's it's definitely more than cinematics because cinematics can look nice, but it's uh, yes. It's a voice and this episode nice. is brought to you yeah. by Skillshare. 
go over it and learn new skills. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you, you mentioned a mod yeah. before, um, uh, the, uh, the simple cinematics. What what yeah. mod? Because you know, as you know, um, Ali, we, we love our modders here. Hashtag adopt the modder. Yeah. What mod was the most important to help you achieve this cinematic masterpiece? Uh, simple cinematic tool for sure. Yeah. I remember because he he had it was private before. Like I, I, I for for the longest, I think it was it wasn't public for like a long time, and I was just watching like him just using it. I'm just like, damn, bro. If I had this on my movie, yeah. oh, things could be different. So when he dropped that, like he just dropped it out of nowhere. Because mm. I never thought it was going to be like a public thing. Um, so when he dropped that, I, I remember just making the announcement. Like, everybody, things are going to change. Uh, things are going to yeah. be a lot better from now on and more easier. And yeah. Definitely oh, it's that, such, that it's such a sure. game changer. Completely agree. Yeah. You can you can actually move that camera angle to 0.01 speed and all kinds of stuff. You know, it's yeah. um, it's very very useful. But again, as is with this everything the, in uh, Daisy, Kawasaki Ninja 400s workshop one. It should just uh, say simple cinematics, JLK yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think this that, is that, that that designed to assist in filming and creating cinematics. Originally funded by JLK, now turned public. That's the one? Yeah. Yeah, that's that should be the one. Mm. Okay, I just shared it in chat for those who are interested in um uh finding out more about it. Um yeah. so yeah, you know, that that's that's awesome. That's I've had, I've had, I get I there. get asked this all the time. Uh, I know I know things of Ali does as well, you know, from uh, people that come to our discords and all the rest of it, but that's one of the key qu in fact I was asked it today. How do you do your cinematics? And again, it's the same thing. I I use the in editor as well as uh, simple cinematics uh, to do pretty much 95% of everything I do camera work wise. So, and I guess it's the same yeah. for you, Ali. Yeah. It's, it's pretty yeah. simple. It's just, you just use the cinematic tool. Yeah. And yeah. You just go ahead. The, the yeah, only no. thing I found that was a little bit, um, if, if you're doing a bit of work by yourself, do you remember when you could get the character to run but it'd only run straight and you'd have to follow it with the camera. Now they've changed that. You, you're able to actually get a, um, a character to run in certain directions now, aren't you? But do you remember before this happened, it could only run in one straight line? Uh, yeah, if, if, if it's just you, but because yes. I always have people there, it was easy for me to just sort of arcade. Mm. This is what you're that, gonna do. Sometimes I would have to go into like the character and show them. Okay, I'm gonna show you what to do, and then you're just gonna do it. Mm. Um. So yeah, that was usually like the the way we did it. And and Kings agreed Black. that that is the the the, own, the really the only way to do it. But if you are yeah. solo by yourself and trying to get into a little yeah. dabble here, that is the hardest <laughs> way of doing it. By the way, don't do that unless you've got no other choice. Get some yeah. people with you. So. Uh... Yeah, interesting. That's good Ali, I, I'm impressed, mate. Um, and, you know, just overall, you. though, mate, you've just grown so far from when I first became aware of you. Um, you know, Cobra was saying you and him have got a healthy rivalry of uh, uh, chasing each other sub count Well, I'm chasing and... him. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but... a, lot of, a lot of people. I think a lot of people are going to go over for sure, as they deserve, because a lot of people do put in the work. Sure. I'm I'm happy for you, mate. You, you're kicking it out of the park and you know, mm. and lifting lifting your your standard, your game. Um, and you know, Thank you. if you if you sit there doing the same thing over and over, like I see yeah. some people yeah. on Twitter complaining that you know that no one comes and watches them or anything like that. Um, you, you've got to you've got to change up what you're doing. Um, and you know, you might change something and it might not work, but you know, you've yeah. got to keep on pushing the boundary and you know, in, in our own small way here. Uh, yeah, we've gone from just using um, Streamlabs OBS OBS to now we've got a dedicated software that does the podcast for us and makes it easier to share. And um, mm. it's a little bit quirky, but you've got to keep on pushing and learn, trying to learn new things. Mm. And um, Ali, this is a great example of it, mate. Yeah, how's how's it performing um, in the analytics for you compared to your other stuff? Um. It's it's not doing well in terms of the analytics because it's it's not just me that I, is affected by this, but also like uh, uh, like other content creators. But I I made sure that this project is more too hard 
than than views. It it is seem, it seems like it's picking up a bit, but f for part one, I was expecting that. Um, but then it's also about like titles and thumbnails and all that. Mm -hmm. um, but part one is like the slowest, really. It's it's the one that's really just the build up. Part two and three are like completely different. But I've also I'm also promoting them differently, so it's not like you'll see at the beginning of like part two and three, like for, for maximum enjoyment, watch part one and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so and on it's... that on that alley, what is your timeline for releasing part two and three? Ooh. Not, or is that uh... still undecided? <laughs> it's already like up private. It's like ready to go. Um, yeah. I think maybe somewhere next mid next week could be it. Yeah, mm -hmm. something like yeah. that. Um, yeah. Just so it gives people time to sort of like catch up, I guess. But the uh, good thing about this is because uh, we we were having a conversation before the show. Um, I believe for this type of content, this is one of those that will grow over time and yeah, if yeah. he if he's got evergreen, it right evergreen content absolutely like absolutely yeah. and if mm. he's got it right because we've only seen part one and just by looking at part one there's a lot of build to character there's a lot of build to storyline you've got some ideas i was sitting there thinking right there's a couple of ways this could go in part two and i'm excited to see which way um ali's going with it but if part two and three are explosive mm -hmm. then what you're going to start to see is a i i believe just what happened with mr moon you, you'll you see a huge backlog coming back to part one to understand the story to then hit the part two again and your part three and you never know mate this this it may not be the best in figures for part one but you've got till yeah. part three to get yeah. all of that and that could be something big mate i i think this is going to be really hitting home well i really do like mike yeah. says there mate and it's something we're well aware of on the show here um try not to worry about the views man long form content like this on youtube mm. is a niche anyway you've created something really fucking sick and it's getting some impressive traction <laughs> that's what matters yeah. um and you know it's a credit to yourself mate that you made something that you know any any youtuber out there these days barring you know some of the um uh those channels which do the very very deep dives into certain issues and that most people's attention spans are you know, yeah. shorter yeah. than a goldfish. To create yeah. something like this, you've done it because it's something you're passionate about um, and that you enjoy doing. Um, because if you didn't enjoy it, you wouldn't do this. Uh, yeah, this isn't something you can just get an AI to um, program for you yet. Um, yeah. So a lot of love, time, effort, um, collaborations with people has gone into it. Uh, and <laughs> yeah. I, I wish you the best, brother. This is going to be... Uh, it's exciting to see uh, you you tackle something like this, mate. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, that means a lot because I did I did talk with uh, with other people and I was sort of making jokes because I was I was scared. Like I didn't even look at the anal analytics, but <laughs> like when I uploaded, I just went straight to the gym and I was look. My phone was buzzing the whole time, and I just yeah. Okay, another comment. Uh, and some but, good comments on there from people as well. Yeah, you know, just yeah. talking about. Yeah, you, know, you need a Netflix deal, and um, <laughs> and and also some people giving you some genuine feedback. Um, yeah. yeah, that some of the voice acting wasn't the greatest, but yeah, yeah you, you were aware of that. And this is your, this <clears throat> oh, is yeah. your first really big serious attempt at it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The well, I will say this though. From the from okay, so this is probably in the first twenty four hours the most amount of comments and the most amount like. Comments mm. and like ratio is the most it's ever been in the 24 hours. But for some reason, whatever's happening with, with YouTube right now, it's not pushing yeah. it out. And that's it's because of just, it. It's because it's yeah. long form content about a yeah, video yeah, game. Yeah. They, they so I know, yeah, their focus I, is on combating Instagram reels and TikTok at the moment. So shorts yeah. and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So I know, I know what I'm looking out for because they, like the roadmap is sort of this part one is out, part two is going to be out, then part three is going to be out. I take all of them together and I make a whole movie with all of them together, yeah. not just slapping them together. Because mm. keep in mind, I have, I have other uh, scenes that I didn't even put in. And that's the thing when you're making a movie, it's because you've recorded oh, it. Are we, we going to see a Snyder cut? 
Are we going to see a Snyder cut? Yeah, it, well? it's sort of like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's kind of like think of it as almost a, a four-hour three-part could be down to like maybe two and a half, but it's at its best uh, pace, like pace-wise. What? Because I'm going to study the hell out of this, and I, I figure out what people are looking for. Yeah. Uh, yeah so, yeah. so, so if it comes to that where part two and three, um, it's like it's okay. I then have a final chance to see okay if if how this one will go, and then I can add at the end like the deleted scene bloopers behind the scenes mm. all that stuff right. So there is yeah. that last final uh, chance. But either way though, all of these are more like the foundation of what's to come. So now because I'm creating a team, I can pretty much get a movie out like maybe every two months or so. So mm -hmm. at, at like more of a fast pace. Um, so, so there's a lot of, um, like, you don't have to wait like crazy, like long for a movie. And then it's just like one part, uh, one part of, uh, of different stories. Like, I really want to go into like the, the vanilla lore, like the, with the yellow King and stuff like that, really explore some, something like mm -hmm. a deep, deep lore with mm -hmm. that. Mate, so I have a lot of ideas. To, reach out to Scotty, reach out to Scotty. Um, you know, as yeah. he did last year with us for the April Fool's joke, he he loves collabing with people in the community. If you've got an idea, reach out to him. The worst yeah. he's going to say is no. Um, anything from there is a step in the right direction for you, mate. So, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I say yeah. do it. Um, and you know, as as you saw with the um, uh, with the uh, April Fool's joke from last year, he's got access to stuff that could really help flesh it out, like that that mm. um, uh, warthog coming in and just just destroying that infected or whatever it was, was just, okay, I didn't expect to see that level of production for an April Fool's joke, but yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that that's that's awesome, mate. Um, now, yeah. we do need to um, move on. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple of other things to talk about. Uh, just yeah, keep us within our time frame. Um, quick um, shill, Humble Bundle, folks, you know the deal. Check them out. Um, we've been giving away um, our games um, uh, that we get each month as well in the uh, Discord, so make sure you join our Discord, discord.gg forward slash 87A Survivor FM. Um, but, yeah, check out the good old Humble Bundle, folks. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, that. I've uh, got some good games to give away this month as well uh, in the next week or two, uh, but we've got to finish. Stud Muffin, pick a bloody game so I can move to the next person. Um, okay. <laughs> recoil changes. <clears throat> Did you guys watch Wobo's video showing the recoil changes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I put it on my watch later just before this. I dude, got dude, we talked about this the other week, um, Cobra. It seems like I don't know why. I, I love the dev team. You know, everyone knows I do. But, man, they they took the, the hammer to some of those guns, didn't they? Like, we're not talking yeah. subtle changes. Some of them were massive changes. Huge changes, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you need to now relearn certain weapons and what their firing capability and movement is going to be otherwise you're going to die <laughs> quite frankly I'm, um, I'm glad mike's in chat because mike is a a big pvp proponent of the game um cobra what <laughs> Help me i don't even it. think i don't even think we should get started on it mate because <laughs> i think it's probably going to be some changes coming i think i'm not sure but um yeah, I, I don't know, mate. I think it's good in a way because you have to, uh, the veterans, those of us that have played the games for so many years now, it's always nice when you've got something new to learn and you've got to, or in this case, relearn. And that is so, good. They, they, they're redefining the meta. But so, Ali, some of the weapons, um, uh, basically, Wobo broke it down into there's recoil and then there's stability. Um, mm. So... Some of the weapons the, the were changing by not you know single digit percentages, not double digit percentages, but triple digit percentages in some of the categories. Mm. Which that's massive. That's massive. Like, I, I, why did they do it? I don't understand that. Who was were people complaining about it? Was Mike? What what was your ticket about, Mike? Um, he said, I'm all for having more recoil in the game, but giving such a huge nerf to SMGs without also nerfing the other rifles isn't realistic or balanced from a balanced. gameplay POV. POV. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, Wobo, did, um, his video is pretty good in that. He did showcase um, 
uh, you know, what were the best um, weapons um, with certain attachments and all the rest of it. And he's updated his website to showcase it better. But it's it, it was bizarre, some of the, the changes, like some – uh, oh, I'm really glad Wobo's got that mod that Dewan made for him, hashtag Adopt a Modder, folks, um, which enables him to show the bullets tracking up the wall there, Cobra. Yeah, I mean, it, without seeing it, so the, the good thing about Wobo is that you actually get to see the angles, uh, the lines he draws and what he puts in, so you can see actually the, the difference and where they're going to hit and what you can shoot through and everything else in some of his good old balance videos. Um, but without it, you, you, you're going to be very confused because you're going to get the old, the you know, do you remember the old situation? You get loads of complaints, loads of admins. If you're on modded servers, go, well, do you know, no, no, I've got a ticket in here. I shot the guy in the face five times. He didn't go down. Well, that's because now changes like this, <laughs> it, it's going to be a bit different, you know, and uh well, there's there's a bit more learning to do. I don't know if they're going to change that, mate, to be honest with you. Are they going to change it? Are they not? I don't know, mate. But look at that. You can you can just see by the, the lines. The, the there. FNX being one of the worst was what was a, a surprise to me. Um, now, yes, in Daisy you do shoot pistols uh, one handed. Uh, when most people who fired um, pistols know you generally hold them double handed. Um, so technically, it's probably correct in that regard. Um, but the the Asvals um, are a lot better now. Uh, you know, the VSS, the Asval, or the Vickers, uh, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're becoming quite OP guns. Um, but, yeah. It, Look at that. I'll though. skip it forward a bit because I want people to actually, uh, yeah, the Bison, recoil kit, yeah. 100%. Really, really bad, yeah. Look at that, the that separation there, between those yeah. rounds. That there is the, is the difference between killing someone and not in the first, <laughs> what, 10 shots, 5 shots? You, you know, you, you, to, yeah, me, yeah. to me, it seems like like are they sort of going back to like how Daisy was a bit before, for, like because the way I'm looking at this, what's going through my mind is to have gunfights last a bit longer, maybe, or or you you have to be smart with your with your choice. Yeah, because I won't I won't go and get a bison based on that. <laughs> I won't use a bison based on that. I'll tell you that now. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's forty percent. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, big, big difference, isn't it? Yeah, because because I play modders so much. Here we go. Whatever the USG, three hundred and eighty percent recoil crazy, kick mate. increase. That is crazy. Oh, look at oh, it! Wow. Look at the difference. Is look at the difference. That is. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh uh, shit! Oh well, don't use that either. <laughs> It's it's an insane video, folks. You've got to you've got to watch it. I'm going to stop sharing it now. Um, it was <coughs> okay. Yep, they've, they've done it. So we'll we'll see what the reaction from the community is. But um, uh, yeah, like Mike saying, the UMP. I don't understand. When was the last time you grabbed and kept a UMP Cobra or or Ali? I haven't. No. Not me. Nah, I play modded. I never see that stuff in my life. <laughs> I, yeah. I barely use it anyway. <laughs> even when I'll I'm grab on the, the MP5 because it's a bit of a laser. Um, I'll grab the Bison because of the you know 60 round mag. Um, but the UMP with its 25 round mag and it's kind of slower fire rate as well. It was just a terrible gun. Uh, one of the most underutilized. And what can we do to make people use it? I know. Let's fucking nerf the crap out of it. Uh, you never know. It might it might improve some people's aims, mate. You never know. Yeah, but well, we, I can't complain there. Uh, I need lasers because I am absolutely woeful at PvP, as everyone knows. Thank you, Mike, for always sharing that lovely clip of me. Um, but yeah, um, but that that was a very very bizarre change. So please, folks, go watch that video. Um, I'll share it in chat now. Um, well, although I, if there's a single person watching this who is not subscribed to um, Wobo. Um, I'll eat my shoe. Um, and no, it doesn't mean you can go and unsubscribe now, folks, uh, to make me do it. But yeah, uh, absolutely bizarre that was. Um, but yeah. Um, now, something else, um, and there's a little bit of a sponsored shill segment, folks. Um, I've been 
uh, I want money. I, I want money from you all. Um, so we can do more things um, that we do, um, whether it be, you know, putting up our community servers like we've got here in Australia and the one now in the EU, the uh, mod team. I still need your ideas for what we can do with that one. Lid Hosting have been very generous in giving us a server. We've got a server in the EU region uh, that we've still got to decide what we're going to do uh, with it, folks. Um, and, yeah, we've always had our Daisy podcast and 87.8 themed merch, um, but really how many people... Um, want um, a daisy logo uh, a pod, daisy podcast logo shirt but um something that i did think that people might want is oh, some daisy good, mate. Yeah, themed merch and i've been working with the lovely kate uh kate Ills, um and also um, um another person i'll reveal that one once we've uh, got it uh, but we've come up with some pretty cool designs um and we're going to be coming up with more of them um, we're being very careful um, to um, you know, not mention the word Daisy on any of the items or anything like that. Um, but these are a couple of the designs that we have now. Um, let me show it. Only fans, that ain't going to be me. <laughs> uh, start, we'll get stud muffin to do our only fans. He's up for that shit. I know that. What do you think of that, Arlie? No road, no problem. Four by four, oh, boy. Cool. Oh, it's and a compass Arda. there as well, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty cool. Interesting. Uh, so, yeah, we, we were coming up with ideas for what we could um, um, go back to design. Uh, and then we've got the, the classic Olga. The old pimp, yeah. You know, the, the, mm. when, when, when you really want to um, be styling when you're driving around in the uh, Daisy landscape, you always break out the good old Olga. Handles like a fucking tank, but damn, you're going to look good doing it. Did you know, and this is on the Daisy Wiki, check out that website as well, folks. The KGB actually used the Olgas back in the day, but they had a V8 model of them. Could you imagine a V8 Olga in the game? That would be badass. That would be badass. But yeah, we've got that available in all the uh, different stuff as well, and Even we've got another. Dis we've got is that a baby design. grow? Hold on, is that a baby grow? Yeah, oh, there's, there's baby clothes, mate. Oh, mate. Yeah, very good. I took mine Paper, off yep. my merch. <laughs> <laughs> baby grow, <laughs> pimp my ride. Excellent. All right, um, I've got uh, I've got another one um, coming as well that's just being uh, checked because I think because it has the word Russia in it, um, they they are making sure that I'm not um, uh, <laughs> raising team. funds for um, a certain um, uh, thing that's happening um, in Eastern Europe. So yeah, uh, but uh, we've also uh, we're, we're having a bit of trouble for what we can do for the poor old Saka. Um, yeah, the idea in my mind is uh, when there's absolutely no other way to get from A to B, Saka, think Saka. Um, because if, if you have a choice of a Gunter, you have a choice of an Arda, you have a choice of an Olga, you have a choice of a Saka, the majority of people are going to take any other car than the Saka. Uh, but yeah, um, so please go check it out. If you like these folks, um, you'll be helping support us. Um, you can. Yeah, it's the, the way I designed them, uh, Cobra, was that it's kind of a if you know, you know. Yeah, so if you see someone um, rocking one of those shirts, you're going to be like, that person plays Daisy uh, without it actually without being. Without so, Daisy. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 I get you. I get you. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's that's yeah. the idea that we're going with uh, with a lot of the merch ideas that we're going to be coming up with. You know, we obviously can't use the word, um, you know, Daisy um, in that. Um, we do have permission for the Daisy podcast, uh, but if you look closely at the way we've got the Daisy logo, it's actually changed, so it's not exactly the same as theirs, so it does differentiate, uh, mm -hmm. but that's about it. Um, we did only use it in that context. Um, but to have a shirt, you know, Daisy and then the Olga, no, we can't do that. So we've got to think around it. Luckily for us, these are all based on IRL things as well, so that's, yeah, um, a way to get around it. So. Uh, we're going to be having some more designs come, you know, some um, things with logos on the back, front sleeves, all the rest of it. Uh, but just wanted to get it out there so we can show people. And uh, once we've got all four cars up there, we're going to do a little thing to see what's the most popular car, you know, what sells the most of mugs or something like that. And yeah, try to make it a little bit fun. Um, okay. We are now on to the one, the only Mr. Cobra's creative showcase. 
Well, you've, you've right. showcased um, Ali today. Well, um, <laughs> let, let me let me let me be predictable here now, then. So uh, for me, Ali is my showcase today, and the reason why is this: uh, quite simply, there's been many people over various different genres of gaming out there that have tried to do this RP take um, and it's movie cinematic. Yeah, absolutely. Movie cinematic experience. Now, I don't think there's been anyone since Mr. Moon that has managed to beat or capture quite what he once did. Yes, we have the one-off movies, you know, that uh, some of the bigger names um, have put out, but I'm talking real hardcore um, what Ali's done with here. Now, this is something for me that we like to bring to the front a lot of people that sometimes are not in the spotlight or haven't got as many subs just starting out or whatever else um and if you think about mr moon what's he on 400 500 thousand subs um barely puts a video out i think it's probably once every six months to a year um but what he does is is real quality i would like the whole community because we're not very good at this in in the daisy community generally uh, you know there are a lot of good people in the community but generally we are not very good as a whole community in helping supporting each other. Um, I I think, um, especially on the content creation side of life, we, we are not. Um, so I would like the whole community to get behind Ali with this. He's put a lot of work, a lot of effort in here, um, and I think parts two and three are going to be something quite special too. So I think even as much as we can do on the podcast, I think. Letting Scotty know about what Ali's just done here. I think um, getting this out as best we can. Um, hopefully, that'll gain a little bit more additional traction for you, Ali. But other than that, I think I when we start... No, no, welcome, mate. You deserve it. I think when people spend this amount of time on something and it's a pure hobby, because not because they're trying to make money, but because they're actually enjoying and they want to create something for the community at large, I think we've got a bit of an obligation here to 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 showcase and really support and get behind yeah. that. So I've already said to mm. Ali, I'll be promoting his stuff, this series, on my channel as well. Um, uh, not not fully, obviously, because it's his stuff. But I'm talking about on my Discord. Um, you post on my Discord anyway, Ali, don't you? Yeah. So I post on yours. You know. Um, so let's let's help him get this out to the audience that I think it deserves. Um, and hopefully. In a little while from now, that video and the series will completely change the 40-odd thousand into over 100K for him. Because I think that's where he needs to be going with this. That's Is that dream. about right, Ali? <laughs> that's his dream for this year, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, right. now I'm going to expand on this, um, and I'm going to show people a hot tip. I don't use it anywhere near enough, um, but I do to it from time to time. If you are a content creator with a sizable audience and you would like to shout someone out, there's a few ways you can do it. And one of them is really, really fucking easy. Uh, the majority of your people are going to be um, linked to you on YouTube. Um, yeah, Show me a content creator who's got more people following them on another platform than their primary platform. You, mm. you, you probably can't. Um, <clears throat> all you've got to do, if you want to share someone's content to your uh, community on your primary platform, such as YouTube, is you can do it here, share, create post. Yep. Easy. Easy. Check out. Oh, that's pretty blah, I didn't blah, know blah. That. And then you can do this as well. <clears throat> what I was just doing then. Sorry, let me just fix it up. Um, check out at things and voila. Then you're tagging the person as well so that they know what you're doing. Exactly. I appreciate that, Boydie. It means a lot. I thought it was always you could only do it on your channel. That's that's good to know. So uh, yeah, I'm doing I'm doing this um and you know, totally not scripted. Of course, I've got to put that in there because um you know I want to get people to actually <laughs> engage with it a bit. So we'll we'll bring up the old scripted versus non-scripted argument. Uh, yeah. But if it gets people clicking on your video, mate, um, and then 
if we go to my community tab, oh, that's yours, um, but you'll be able to see it on yours. If I go to my channel uh, now and check my community, oh, there, it is. there it is. There it is. And people can react with it. They can leave a comment. And you know, it's, it provides a direct link straight to your video. Tia, thank you so, so much for the £5 donation there as well. I really do appreciate that. Uh, but that's something so easy to do that you could do yes. with anything. I do it quite often. Um, you know, I did one there 11 days ago, a good video for my favourite troll folks, um, how to get Daisy running on a Steam Deck. Uh, you know, don't get a lot of interactions on it, um, but... Um, I'm not really doing it to, to get people interacting with me. I want to get them to interact with, you know, I shared um, 10 years of playing DayZ, cinematic uh, montage. So you can do this with any video that you like, that you would like to share with your community on YouTube. It's a great feature that not enough people utilise. And so, let me just yeah. make a comment on that, Boydie, all right? The fact of the matter is... People don't quite get this. For the community to thrive, we all need to support each other. All right? If you do well, we Apes all do together well. strong. That is it. That That is the key. And it's not going to harm your views. It's not going to harm your channel. In fact, it's going to be the complete opposite. So don't go thinking for one minute, oh, that's my comp. I'll tell you now, We, me and Ali speak about this. We, we've commented on each other's videos um, if there's yeah. something particularly good that I've done, I know he's going to comment on there and tell me what he thinks. I do the same to his. And when he done this one, I straight away shared it everywhere, put a comment on there. And you know what? D do you think that harms me or my channel? Of course it doesn't, because we're appreciating the hard work in the community when something really good and positive has happened. And all it's ever going to do is bring something back your way at some point. You know, spread, share the love, for God's sake. Don't. Don't sit there insular thinking it's going to harm you because it bloody ain't. And anyone else, I don't care how big a YouTuber, Twitch streamer you are in this community, if you can't do that for some of the people that are in this community because they've actually done something that you like and respect, then, you know, what can I say about that? That says everything about you. So that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at with it, quite frankly. So let's get and Ali what he deserves here. Yep. I appreciate it. Jump in there and share it, folks. Uh, it's a great way to share... Um, yeah, uh, Cobra and I have talked in the past. Um, I've spoken to um, the Daisy Wiki team as well about getting um, our quizzes going again with stuff from their website to promote their website. Daisy Wiki is a totally underutilized resource, but engaging on that community tab can do mm. wonders for you to promote a, a community feel about your channel, that you're not just some person who just posts a video, that you're actually mm. interacting with them. I see Wobo uses his a lot with questions and surveys and um, polls and um, all the rest of it. It's a, it's a great way to promote um, not just yourself, but also others in the community. Um, because, you know, again, you know, touching back on what I mentioned earlier, Ali, I see a lot of people complaining about this, that, and the other thing. Um, yeah. And I, I don't want to go and watch a channel where someone just sits there and complains about um, other people doing better than me or all the rest of it. Yeah, if you're, you know, and, and it's a risky thing for us because we do com uh, complain a bit here on the show, but I, I think we do complain a little bit better than most. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're, we we yeah. have genuine, specific gripes and we get feedback and um, all the rest of it. But mm -hmm. if you could put, be with someone who all they do is moan and bitch about everything, or you could be with someone who's constantly shouting out um, other creators and collabing with others, I know which channel I'm going to gravitate towards. I want more positivity. Really? i got enough bad shit happening in my life, IRL. Um, $6,500 fucking car repair. Um, but, yeah, um, I, I want some positivity when I go online. Uh, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do enjoy, enjoy a good shit post. Everyone knows that. Um, but for the most part, I just want to have um, fun and I want to see people doing nice things for other people. Absolutely. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. For sure, yeah. So check out that compare that community tab, folks and creators. Don't forget if you see a good video and you think it's something that's um, worth um, sharing, share it on your community tab on YouTube. Um, it's a great way to do it. Twitter, all the rest of those places, yeah, they they get a little bit. But if you share something directly to your community from you, hats off to you. As someone Absolutely. said, there a rising tide raises all boats. Absolutely. Absolutely.
and I need all the tight I can get to raise my fat ass up. Uh, let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ali, what, our last section, mate, I don't know whether Cobra gave you a heads up, but this is your turn to shout something out, mate. Um, we do an individual spotlight here where we get to um, shout out something, anything of interest. It doesn't even have to be Daisy related. It can be I'm ready. About, you know, whatever. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I, I already thought about this. Yeah, I think... If I was to shout out, uh, it will have to be like two creators. No, actually, a few. Like definitely my boy Frankie oh, Z. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. not, not you on this occasion, uh, boy. <laughs> it's never me, mate. It, 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 it's, definitely, it's dangerous. <laughs> definitely my boy, my boy Frankie Z. Like because we, we've already always like um, just getting chats all the time, late nights, and just like having like, a bunch of goals in mind and stuff and just to like you know it's good to have someone like that wild. to, to yeah. bounce ideas off isn't it and and it's always like it's, it's a friend that you have and you can lit and if we disagree on something we'll tell it to each other you know it's not gonna That's, it's never it's awkward so invaluable yeah that you can't is, put a price on that it's crazy you, you do not surround yourself with simps and cucks and people who just kowtow and oh that's so great cobra you know you're the best cobra you, you one of the things i love mm, about cobra that's, that's is he fucking <laughs> ups me for the rent when i need it um and yeah. foxy's the same foxy's another person dancer jesus is the same you need people to keep you humble you need people yeah. to say dude no that's a bad idea that you, you you've got a you've got a you've got a real one there, Ali with Frankie, yeah. mate. It's it's Frankie, and and definitely like like I I have to put like Nazar and Satuna as well there because those guys ha have also been through this journey a lot. Uh, because I, I what what I do I talk with a lot of creators, like I don't see them as creators. It's more like I see them as friends, if that makes sense, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, colleagues. It, it, Peers, yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we all we have this like respect of like, okay, what do you think of this? What should I do? You know, do you want to jump in a call? What do you think? Can I show you this? And it's always so cool. Where it's like, no, like these people I'm I'm with, they never, no one is better than the other. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, it. But it what with other creators, like it's definitely a lot different. So I had to really <laughs> cut a lot of that stuff out because it's a very ugly scene. I've seen yeah. some things where no one, ah, uh, it's, yeah. I'm not the one yeah. to point, like, put you, stuff you, out, but. You, you don't need to go any further, mate. For the, those ugly. who it know. Really ugly. Who know. <laughs> yeah. We've all been there, mate. <laughs> all I will say is some of the people who um, complain the most um, are the ones who uh, get complained about the most. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Story time. <laughs> I've, I've just yeah, seen no. that. Frankie's got something he wants to say, mate. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, 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 we try to avoid the drama podcast um, as much as possible. Yeah. But, to Ali, I totally get you, mate. Um, yeah. It's why, you know, even in our little 87.8 community, um, for the most part, we just try to share positivity and share stuff and have people sharing ideas and info. And, you know, I come up with a lot of ideas and I, I just give them away to people because I don't have the skills to fucking do it. But if someone can make my, my idea come to fruition, hell yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I, I love being surrounded by people smarter than me um, because mm. they can, they can, I'm constantly giving feedback to people because, yeah, you know, I see something they do and I go, they're, they're doing it much better than I could ever do. Why would I fucking do it? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, hundred yeah. percent. We'll talk. We'll talk later about who all these shit cunts are, mate. Though, but yeah, <laughs> demonetized, Boydie. You've done it again. <laughs> I, I said I dropped the. I, I did not say the C bomb. I said um, uh, shit hunts. Um, hunting is bad. Don't don't, don't hunt. No, except in video games. Now, yeah, now, we're gone. Mate. We're good gone. Um, Cobra, what about you? Um, any anyone anything else you'd like to shout out? Um, I'm gonna nah, not really. I, there's quite a few people I could go on forever, but ultimately, like I say, tonight, um, it's about uh, things with Ali, and uh, I'm just glad we can uh, we can show the support that we can, and um, sure. you know, do what we can for him, hopefully, and um, let's hope. I, I'm actually really looking forward. To, I, 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 Ali, you need to let me know, mate, when when part two. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll let you know for sure. Yeah. I mean, if you, I mean. Maybe I'll send you a little sneak peek. 
Mate, you send me. I won't want... share it. I won't share it. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me have a look. I'm interested to see this. I need to see it. Yeah, it's it's like definitely longer. It's like an hour and fifteen minutes, and then part three is going to be like an hour and forty minutes, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought uh, we weren't going to get into any leaks. Uh, Frankie's uh, Frankie's put up there, but uh, no, that's cool, mate. You know, your secret's safe with me. It's all good. <laughs> Me, I, w- I want to shout out um, uh, the community, but one person in particular, um, Kate Eels, who helped me come up with those designs. Um, I put a post in the Discord just asking if there was any people with any experience in graphic design or anything like that. As everyone knows, we don't make a lot of money here. Uh, the majority of what we do is because this is our hobby. You know, Cobra doesn't get paid. Um, uh but Foxy doesn't get paid. Um, you know, I do some things where I can from time to time. Um, but for the most part, we all do this. It's our hobby. It's our passion. It's our commitment. And Kate um, answered the call and said, yeah, you know, I, I'm pretty good at getting AI to produce stuff. Um, and I'm loving it because with the software that I've got with Canva, um, her just getting, having a better understanding of how to get AI to make images, it's giving us inspiration. Um, of what we want, which is ending up with these designs. Um, and she's not asking for anything in return either. She's just doing it because she likes what we do here with 87.8 um, in you know, supporting modders, in supporting and promoting content creators like you, Ali, and, and smaller people and um, just doing what we do. And I cannot thank you all enough because we've, we've got a fairly unique bunch of people in this community, haven't we, Cobra? Who, oh, yeah, without doubt. Just, you know, we've had a lot of people come and go, uh, but what we're doing, you know, I, I had my little dummy spit at the end of last year where I was like, why do I bother and all the rest of it like and it did, I'm going to end it. You know. um, and then it, I came to quickly realise that, no, we are still needed um, and we're needed because no one else really does what we do. Um, we're not focused on making a million dollars for ourselves and becoming the biggest channel. We're just focused on helping everyone else. You know, the, a rising tide raises all boats, and that's pretty much our philosophy here. Whether it be modders, hashtag adopt the modder, they're our passion, um, or content creators, or just people like Mike, who's not really any of the above, but he's kind of a bit of an all rounder. Um, and he, there's not much he's not involved in. You know, it's people like him. Um, there's a lot of people out there who hate Mike. I fucking love the guy when I can understand him. Um, but, um, we need people like that, don't we, Ali? Yeah, I'm going to get Mike to build me a whole apocalyptic city. Get ready, Mike. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> yeah. Sounds like another big uh, one, doesn't it? It was too yeah. much, I think. So he you get to take on Frankie, are you? Frankie on PC. <laughs> um, yeah. A lot of inspiration, <laughs> definitely. Like, um, yeah. I, w- I wish he would like, upload as well. But I mm. think people, some, I've, I realize some people get tired of Daisy a lot. So that's yeah, why yeah, it's, yeah. it's good to see something different happening. Yeah, I um, agree. We need so, to get yeah, you some sponsors for your videos, mate, um, to help um, fund um, you to keep doing more. And um, I've spoken um, with that guy, Sill, in the past, you know, with his background uh, from what he's been doing at uni and that I really think there's scope for someone to um take up a role as like you know arranging sponsors for uh, creators yeah, because yeah. daisy is a funny game to market but i'm certain there are people out there whether it be uh, survivalist companies prepper companies um anything like that um mm. that might want yeah, to sponsor yeah. some of the you know more um the the, the bigger more artistic uh, works where they can you know know that their um uh stuff's going to get promoted to a, a decent audience of people who might be interested in buying a backpack full of survival gear and oh, yeah. that sort of stuff. And, yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, we are done once again. It was a fantastic show. We are pretty much bang on the time limit, uh, Cobra. One hour, well done, 30 mate. minutes, mate. Well done. Uh, we've done a fantastic job this week. Let me just quickly check and see who next week's guest is. Uh, again, I should have been prepared. Um I think everyone's used to the fact that I'm never prepared. Uh, we have Roth, one of the uh, regulars of the community, coming on. So it's going to be a bit more of a console-focused episode next week. Hopefully our Project Lemons can turn up. Um, but we will see you all same time, same channel, as always, for episode 182 of the Daisy Podcast. Ali, you are a scholar and a gentleman and a very, very damn good 
editor, mate. That's I amazing work. It. I'm Thank looking forward to uh, watching the rest of episode one and episode two and three when they come out as well. Yep. Well done, mate. Take care. All the yep. best. And uh, let's get this off and running, mate. Let's get this done. Yep. Thanks, guys. And we'll, Have a good one. And I'll, uh, and I'll say it on behalf of um, Archie, who's a no-show, Hail Hydration. All the best, everyone, <laughs> and ciao for now. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye.